Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you step by step to the process of starting a YouTube channel from scratch. So if you want to start a YouTube channel this year and haven't started yet, then make sure to watch this entire video. Now, I really wanted to make this video because I underestimated how beneficial a YouTube channel can be for your own brand, if you're trying to build one, or for your viewers. So I will be focusing on how to pick your niche, your audience, what type of content you're supposed to make, the right keywords, how to look for content ideas, and also some filming tips. So let's get started right after you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, which by the way, you have to make sure that you ask people to hit that like button because it's going to help you out a lot. And subscribe for more videos. So first things first, I am pretty sure that there are so many people out there that are trying to start a YouTube channel and are still thinking about it and have been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for months or possibly even years. In my case, I was really, really afraid of starting a YouTube channel because first of all, it's you are literally talking right into the camera and you have no idea how to start. The best advice I could give you is to just start now. Start making videos right now because at the end of the day, you're supposed to learn from doing and not just from thinking and planning, you, that's how you actually learn. You learn through progress and by actually doing those things. Because every moment you wait or hesitate, there is another YouTuber making content, making videos, and stealing your potential audience. So you don't want any of that. Feel the fear and do it anyway. At first, you can get away with recording whatever you want. What matters is that you get in front of the camera, film it, and publish it. And it doesn't even matter if it ends up on YouTube. What you need is just the experience of talking to the camera. And whether it's on Instagram, on TikTok, which by the way, make sure to follow me, you're still going to gather that experience that's going to help you make longer videos for YouTube. So just get started today, literally after watching this video. Second thing is knowing how YouTube works. Now, chances are the very first video you make is going to be terrible. I mean, look at my first video. Search, invest, based on your logic. Which brings me to how... <laughs> kind of terrible, honestly. But that's okay because I was able to get started on it and now I'm here about 36 videos later. So now for tip number three is to develop a strategy that you're going to follow. So here are some questions that you need to be asking yourself. What do you want your channel to achieve on YouTube? Why should people be watching your content? What type of value are you bringing to your audience. Finally, how are you going to deliver this content? Is it going to be once per week, twice per week, or once a month? The main thing that you want to have on YouTube is consistency. You want your audience to expect your videos because then they have someone or something to look forward to. Think about when your audience is more likely to watch your videos and we are going to get over my analytics and how I go about publishing my videos and when is the right time to do so. Which brings me to finding your niche and your target audience. Now you're gonna get different advice from people. Some people are gonna tell you to niche down, niche down on one single audience and other people are gonna tell you to have three types of niches within your industry. Like in my case, my channel is about entrepreneurship, the stock market and investing, but they all fall within that finance niche. Because from my experience, the more things that you can talk about, then you're gonna have a bigger and wider audience to attract. But they all have to fall within that same category. So remember, I'm in the personal finance niche, but I also talk about investing, the stock market and business. So they all fall within that specific group. Now for my next step is going to invest in the right equipment. Now I'm not gonna tell you to get expensive fancy cameras or a thousand dollar microphone because what I'm using right now is a very inexpensive microphone from Amazon which was around 35 bucks and I'm using my iPhone XR right now. So you actually do not need any fancy equipment to get started. What matters is that you start now. More than likely, the phone that you have right now, it's good enough to start a YouTube channel and take it to the moon. Now I'm gonna put the microphone that I use in my description down below so that you can go and check it out because I haven't gotten any complaints about the audio quality yet. So, I mean, it sounds pretty good, right? Now next, I wanna show you how it is that I plan my YouTube videos, how I go about finding what type of content people are looking for, and also take you into my analytics. So for that, I'm gonna take you right into my laptop. Let's go. 
Now, I really like to use Trello for my content making process. The main thing that you want to have here is to just be as organized as possible. Now, if you see here, I started my YouTube channel back in April, so I do have those there. Now, how I have it organized doesn't really matter. What matters is how it's going to make sense to you. But I like to have it as content ideas, planning, and then launched. And then here, as you can see, I'm currently filming this video. So what I like to have is different labels for it as well. Um, I have posted, editing, writing, filmed, thumbnail, SEO. So I still have those things left. But right now, the writing process has already been made and also I'm currently filming, so it's been filmed. So you really just wanna make sure that you're organized with it. And once each video is done, you're just gonna drag it over to launched and that's it. Now I really do like to put everything from the thumbnail to the description, to the writing and also the SEO. It just keeps me organized and it keeps me more focused on that specific video. Now for content ideas, this is gonna be a little different. Again, let's go into my laptop and show you how it is that I go about finding YouTube ideas so that I know what to talk about. Now, whatever browser you're using, it doesn't matter if it's Safari or Chrome, I would recommend using a private window for finding content ideas. And then go to YouTube and this is what you're gonna do. If you are in finance niche like I am, you're going to go maybe the stock market, stock market for beginners. And this is what most people are looking for when they're searching for the stock market. The very first thing that pops up. So stock market for beginners. And if you want to niche it down even further, you're going to go stock market for beginners 2020, how to invest. So that's how you niche it down in terms of keywords even further. So another thing we could do is how to draw. So that's what people are looking for right now. That's what majority of people are looking for on YouTube. It is how to draw. So if we want to go even farther with this, how to draw a rose, that's the first thing that pops up. So that's what majority of people are looking for. Another thing that I like to do is base my content idea on the number of views that a specific video has gained. So for example, let's say that I want to learn how to budget for beginners on a monthly basis. We can search how to budget your money. So as you can see, these are the first videos that pop up, but we want to base it on the number of views that that specific video has gotten. So as you can see here, this is the video with the most number of views on this specific topic, right? So you know for a fact that these specific videos is something that people are looking for and are searching for over and over again. So you can't go wrong with making a video on this specific kind of topic. And you can do this for any niche you want. It doesn't have to be personal finance. It can be how to, I don't know, let's see what pops up actually. How to draw or how to solve a Rubik's cube. I've never actually learned how to do that. And then we can base it on the view count, right? So America's Got Talent, 72 million views, three Rubik's cubes solved underwater in one minute. So that's very unique and that's very specific. So you can't go wrong with making a Rubik's cube video, apparently. So it's very easy and it's super straightforward. Now next, I want to go over on how to find your niche. One of the ways that I found out my niche was to see what it is that I love talking about the most and what people are actually looking for the most. For me, I love talking about money, business, and the stock market. And we happen to be at one of the best years to start investing right now. So what better reason to start a YouTube channel, right? And you really do want to make something that you love talking about because you can give up pretty easily. At first, you're gonna be making a ton of videos without seeing that much reward from them. So you really wanna base it on something you love talking about and something that people are actually looking for. And if you have those two together, then you are gonna have a lot of fun with making YouTube videos and people are gonna love you for it. Another thing that I like to use to find out what people are looking for actually is Google Trends. So again, let's go into my laptop to show you how that works. So if you go to trends.google.com, you can actually see what people are looking for live. So these are the recent trends that are happening right now. And if we click more trending searches, 
we can actually see what people are looking for in real time. So we have Ozzy Osbourne. Now, if you like Ozzy Osbourne, you can start a channel on his kind of music. People are talking about Donald Trump, Chipotle. <laughs> Is Chipotle open on Labor Day? That 70s show. And if you click up here on Explore Topics, you can actually see if your specific topic video that you want to talk about is still something that people are looking for. So let's say that you want to talk about the iPhone 12 and future products that Apple is coming up with. So here we can actually search iPhone 12. And this is actually a trend that keeps going up as we get closer to that iPhone 12 release, right? So you definitely do know that this is going to be a hot topic once iPhone 12 is released. And we can actually search on the past 30 day period and it just keeps going up, it seems like. So that will be a pretty good topic for you to talk about if you love technology and also love Apple products, right? So in the past seven days, you can see a pretty steady trend on iPhone 12. And you can also compare it to, let's say, Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy. Okay, so people are searching for Samsung Galaxy more than iPhone 12 for the past seven days at least. So you get my point. Use Google Trends to find out what people are looking for and also what it is that you love talking about. And you can also use the YouTube search bar to see what videos have the most views so that you can make them your own in your specific niche. Now, after you've made your video, you've filmed it, you know what you want to talk about. It's time to make your thumbnails. And there's one specific website that I like to use for mine. It's called PicMaker. Now, PicMaker is super, super easy to use and it's pretty easy to come up with a thumbnail using their website. You really want to make sure that your thumbnail is as eye-catching as possible because that's going to be the very first thing that someone sees before clicking on your video. So you want to make sure that it's not clickbait but it's good enough that people are going to click on it because no one's going to watch your video if they don't actually click on your thumbnail or click on that title. Now for keywords, I'm going to recommend you guys that you use a tool called TubeBuddy or TubeBuddy. I think it's TubeBuddy. Either way, download it. It's a Google Chrome extension that you can use. Now, unfortunately, they don't have that extension for Safari. So you're going to have to download Chrome to be able to use that extension. Now, TubeBuddy is going to allow you to see which keywords are going to be better off to use so that you attract more viewers to your videos. This is a great tool and I highly recommend it. Now, I will actually make a part two to this video because I feel like I've already packed a ton of information in just this one video. So expect part two to how to start a YouTube channel mini series pretty soon. So with that in mind, make sure to start now if you've been contemplating to start a YouTube channel because the worst thing you can do is just wait, wait, wait and never make progress on anything. And trust me, once you start, it's going to be the best feeling in the world because you are going to meet so many other great people with the great intention of just trying to help their viewers, educate, motivate, make funny videos, whatever it is, there's just a very positive community around YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and also for part two. All right guys, until next time.